Hey there, welcome to another edition of The Daily Drop. In Psalm 101, King David is speaking to the Lord and he said he was determined to maintain purity in his empire by removing wickedness from himself, his court, and his capital. When justice prevailed, the Lord would be pleased to dwell in their midst. So in a sense, this psalm is a charter by which David ruled under God. In verse 1, David sings of God's loyal love and justice. He says, I will sing of steadfast love and justice to you, O Lord. I will make music. You know, David sang to the Lord of uh, the Lord's qualities. You know, his qualities of love, has said his, his immovable love. And he spoke of um, his justice. I think... I think this is a good moment to just pause and ask the question, what kind of music do you listen to? Does the music have words that speak of the qualities of the Lord? Or is it music that speaks of the world and all that it offers? What we sing has a lot to do with where our heart is. David chose to sing of the qualities of the Lord. Well, in verse 2, David speaks of his personal integrity. Listen to what he says. He says, I will ponder the way that is blameless. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with integrity of heart within my house. David said he resolved to live a blameless life with integrity of heart before God. His lifestyle of integrity would begin in the privacy of his own home. This contrasted sharply with the corrupt lives of most of the kings in the ancient Near East. They were corrupt to the core. Well, in the rest of the psalm, verses 3 to 8, David commits to purity in his palace. He elaborates on the path to purity. He said, let purity reside in my heart. Let me read those verses to you. He says, I will not set before my eyes anything that is worthless. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall be far from me. I will know nothing of evil. Whoever slanders his neighbor secretly, I will destroy. Whoever has a haughty look and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. I will look with favor on the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way that is blameless shall minister to me. No one who practices deceit shall dwell in my house. No one who utters lies shall continue before my eyes. Morning by morning, I will destroy all the wicked in the land, cutting off the evildoers from the city of the Lord. You know, I just want to say that God calls us to a life of purity, and it's becoming increasingly more difficult as the world becomes increasingly more evil around us. But yet God calls His people to live in purity, integrity in the house, integrity of the heart before the Lord, but also purity to those around us. So I just want to encourage you this morning that as you look at Psalm 101, as you begin to read that psalm and you contemplate all that it says, take away with you, I determine to live in purity before the Lord. I want others to see my pure life. I want to reflect the glory of God. I want to reflect the integrity of the Lord. I want to display what His Word declares. I want to draw out a path in my life that would bring others into the kingdom of God, that they would look at you and that they would say, hey, that guy's different. He doesn't engage in the conversations we engage in. He doesn't uh, engage in the shows that, that we watch or find entertainment from things of the world, but he is determined to live with purity. And that speaks loudly to people. Well, may your day be blessed by the Lord.